Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, this video is about the Artisan Journal Prompt 2024. And week this week is week 20, and it was food labels. So let's check it out and see what I did. We did have to go into the recycling bin, though. So last week, if you guys did not see it, were birds. So let me get to that so we you know. So there's my birds. All right, so this week, um, went ahead and went into our bin. Um, my family is a Dorito family. This is actually my husband's favorite, is the spicy nacho. Uh, my son does do the regular ones, but if he runs out, because my son can do a bag of Doritos within a day and a half. Um, hell, Cobb is cats. Fruit roll-ups, we can't keep them in the house either. Um, or even fruit by the foots. I literally have to take five out, and then by Saturday, when I, when I buy them on Friday, then by Saturday, um, they're, done, they're gone. Zach's, one of Zach's favorites is gums. And then I just made a little tag from the brownies. Uh, when I was doing this, Zach asked me to make brownies, so I'm like, well, I'll just put that in there as well. Um, pretty much every week, these are some of the things we actually eat. Um, we are a family that is on the go. Husband has two jobs. Zach's got soccer. Um, I'm chasing puppies around <laughs> and doing everything that I need for my family. So, um, Diet Mountain Dew, that is me. That is all me. Or Diet Pepsi. That is all me. Um, mac and cheese. This is not her favorite. Um, I will say my husband prefers Kraft Spiral Mac and Cheese. But you know how hard it is to find it? Walmart's not carrying it anymore. I don't understand. Um, Pringles. It's just something in the family. It's all of us on the Pringles. Mostly Zach. And have to be plain. Um, goldfish. That's the whole family, but that's mostly Zach. And this, yes, this is also mac and cheese, but it's the the little individual ones. Zach will only eat that mac and cheese. And then I just found out I've had I've known my husband and been married for my husband for almost twenty seven years. And we'd always have hot dogs and mac and cheese. It's just something you do. Or hot dogs and brats. Um, after all that time, and he probably said it to me before. But I've been a hot dog girl since I was little, so just to call it there. He said, well, I like brats. But I cannot cook for the life of me. Cook brats that are just like the raw brats that you have to boil them and then fry them. I am not. I It's always raw in the middle or something. So the pre-cooked smoked sausage works for me. Um, and he enjoys it. So And this is the, the one we normally do. So I know it's not much, guys, but that is my week. Um, I did this on Sunday, on Mother's Day, or on Monday, not for sure. I will say that I am pre-recording this now with a sad, heavy heart, and this is... 3.30 in the morning on Saturday the 18th. I had said on some of the videos that they were going to be pre-recorded. And I had every intention to do this. But I don't know what and how to feel about what had happened. I lost my mom. And I wasn't going to say anything to anybody, but I'm struggling about a lot of things. Um, I did do a video about it, so you all know that if you have it, but here's, here's my dilemma and my problem, and I can't even believe I'm doing this. Nothing against Patty and the good ladies or anything else about it. Um, nothing at all. It's just right now I'm doing this Saturday morning at 3.30 in the morning 
a lot of struggles, a lot of hard times. Yesterday I fell really badly and hurt myself. Nothing's broke. Um, my life is just stumbling. And I realized, and come to realize that I put a lot of stuff in to my YouTube, whether anybody knows it or believes it or not. But the day I got the phone call with about my mom, I was recording videos and my phone never rang because of it. I thought it was because of something else or because of the phone. I realized it that it didn't show up but then I I was in the process of recording this one and I read that's why I'm redoing it and realized that it said new AT&T uh, voicemail and I ignored it not thinking anything of it my mom was doing okay she was gradually going down so I didn't think anything of it when it was a voicemail thing because I block a lot of a lot of phone calls um, if I don't know who they are so I figured it was just that in the process of doing um, another video you'll see that it's 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 different it's with Miss Tina's uh, May SWAT because half of it was pre-recorded and the end of it is um, because I had to finish it and that's what I'm struggling for my husband's telling me to take my time and I feel guilty that I was doing the recording and not answering the phone when hospice called um I do know that she was already gone when they called but I didn't know at the time like I didn't know at the time of when I got the actually Facebook message video from my cousin that she had passed I literally thought they were saying, hey, you need to get here. She's going. There was no sign at all that um, she was going. She was, she leveled up. They told us maybe three months. Is what the last thing I had, one to three months. My mom is stubborn. She was stubborn. Strong. A fighter. And, uh, so if if my videos after this one I think I have three recorded um, I do have uh, my Gen X ones I have them all, all made I will tell you guys that already I will upload on Wednesday even if it is just uh, me showing you guys the, the card I might not say anything and I did record about a month's worth before this happened. So, I just wanted to let you guys know that. That I feel so guilty that I don't know if I want to be back on YouTube. Because of that reason. Um, I haven't done any craft since because of it as well but I wanted to make sure that I got this prompt out I'm very very when it comes to saying I'm going to do something like this I try to keep my word so I know this is 10 minutes long and I appreciate you guys for hanging in there and listening and let me babble and cry and everything. Um, on another note, if she hear, sees this, um, Miss Mary, I have your address somewhere, but can you email me your address again so I can get your 
Um, winnings out to you. And guys, I do have another hidden giveaway in a video recently. And I'm just going to flat tell you guys that. Um, you guys might have more time to find it because I don't remember what... I know what video it is, but I don't remember what the deadline was. So, um, please, even with everything that's going on with me, please check out the Artisan Journal from 2024, hosted by Miss Patty. There are some awesome, awesome ladies that are doing it. I am watching. I am not commenting, but I appreciate you guys to go check them out. Until next time, please stay safe and keep crafting.